Hello world, I'm Okap. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Crusading for a Kingdom where we are playing as Emperor Roj, the Lionheart of the Latin Empire and we're going for the Deus World Achievement which is, uh, well, one, well, this war and another war after that and we can get it finally. Now we are at 17, oh, some people have actually joined this war, I didn't even realize this had happened. Now we're at 79% here with this war, we're losing some people here for attrition, why? Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll split these armies, send more people here. We'll put our uh, siege leader over here. And I'm pretty sure that we're gonna end this war quite soon. And someone who usurped the Kingdom of Castile from someone else. Hey! Right, that's actually good, right? Because... No. Why did? What was I told about that fact? No, neither one of these are... Part of why is there wait no you are actually under me now Castile offer vassalization why I can't must be at peace hmm Lotharingia would you like to be my vassals no unfortunate I and mean, would you like to be we can't even try to join our forces in an alliance. Okay, well, let's just focus on our own things here. Because it's not the... Ooh! Can we get tons of prisoners? Quite a lot of them. Uh, let's make sure we have everyone here. Okay, another siege done. We'll send these guys over here. Oh, actually, let's put them here so this siege will go faster, because I'm pretty sure that once this siege is done, this uh, war will be over. Oh, they are trying to unseat some places. A courtier of mine. Why are you even in my court? Leave my court or turn. No, leave my court. It's not appropriate. Like, I have once already during this game gone through. Like, I've done this. I went to uh, here, my court, put not my religion, and asked everyone who wasn't of my religion to get out of here. But suddenly there's tons of them here. It's insane. Right, uh, this war at 100%. Offer peace and force demands. We shall pick an ambition, probably to see the realm prosper, yes. We're gonna give away all of these subholdings here. Okay, all subhold and steaming away. Let's put our troops down. Let's collect our retinues. Let's not lead any troops anymore. Uh, what do you want? You want to arrange a marriage with a courtier of mine and you'll give me money for that. Sure! Then we'll just give these lands away. Is there any place that. Ooh, Baghdad has a trade post. Uh, we're not gonna keep that for ourselves, but we're probably gonna give that to someone of our family. Search Realm, Great House, my dynasty. Who's got the best stewardship? Pierre, Marshal of Latin Empire, heir to the Kingdom of Syria, no, heir to the Barony of Comborn. Where is Comborn? Probably not, because I really don't want these things to happen. Or other. Okay, there's a Prince of Syria who is married to my niece, but he isn't inheriting. You sent. Oh, it's just a bastard. Okay, I can understand that. Yeah, well, you're not inheriting, so I'll give you back that. And then the rest of these things I'll give to Randos, who got high stewardship. But doing you shall get Karbala. Thibault, uh, you shall get nothing because you are a monk. Gishard, you shall get Kerman Shop. 
Andre, you shall have Alan and Jeff. Robert, you shall have Al Amara. And Thomas, you shall have Ilam. Okay, what can I usurp? Baber, look back that. Yes, I will usurp that immediately. Thank you. And I will give it to this fellow here. Why can I not usurp Samara then? Hmm. Oh, you're warring some internal war there. And then we can usurp the Sultanate of Iraq as well. Well, let's do that. Uh, so, which one will get the Sultanic Iraq? You or you? I think I'm gonna give it to you. Because you want to get a title. So take the Kingdom of Iraq and be happy about it. Oh, I lost my steward there, unfortunate. Well, uh, Sirhan, you can be the steward. You shall collect money in Jerusalem. We also need a new commander, so... Uh, Hildebert, are you good at anything? You are actually pretty good at lots of things. You can be our new commander. Right. All, all the troops down, all the troops are down, and then we just need to murder the Seljuk man again. Or we could just declare war and... You know, let's see how easily we could kill. Not very easily. So, here's the thing. I could just go for... You know, what do I need prestige for? It gives uh, the Truce Breaker modifier, which gives minus 25 opinion on everyone, I think. Actually, oh, let's get rid of those people. So, my vassals, if I get minus 25 opinion on all vassals... Is that bad? Probably not. I can probably keep, give them money so that they will like me still, even if it goes on the negative. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Radio. Declare war, holy war for what is this? What we need? Basra. Yeah, we're a truce breaker. Who cares? Raise the main troops, raise the holy order. Send all of these 30,000 troops to here. We move until we're at like 20,000. Yeah, send here and until we're at about 10,000. Yeah, we'll send you guys over here. Do I send these guys? Oh, we'll send you guys uh, whichever place has. Oh, this has a higher supply limit, so over here. We'll keep in aim tab. That's fine. Oh, what is the Siege of Ronda? Oh! It's a damn! Damn raiders here. Yeah, we'll get some ransom money from some people. Oh, some people have actually joined this holy war. How many troops do you have? You have 25,000. Oh, you're on negative money. <laughs> well, you're also negative piety. Oh, you got 51% monthly... Or not monthly decadence, you add total decadence. Demain income minus seven percent, moral of demain troops minus seventeen percent. So we're not really that scared of you. Bastard stole some money from us. Okay, that battle done. Who? Oh, you guys! I sent. They were raiding your lands. Don't be angry at me for using your troops then. Oh no, a kinswoman of mine just died. That's sad. What is this battle? Oh, some random battle over here. Okay, he's collecting his troops. What do you want? To study the skies. Sure, I'll study the skies. And my marshal passed. Well, we'll get a new marshal. I mean, Jacques would probably be a pretty good marshal, though. I mean, but you are a commander, so I don't like using people who are Hildebert. You only have a little bit of moral defense. Yeah, we'll make you into the marshal, and we'll get a new commander of Julian here. Okay, that's nice. So, combine you guys. Sirkan is here. Let's put Julian over here. Where is he? Wait, 
Who? What? Julian, are you something else? No, you're commander. You have 16. Marshal? You're there. Why didn't I see you last time? Because I'm blind, most likely. Ah, that's, uh, yeah, let's observe this guy. That place is already sieged. So, uh, what's Seacan over there? Yeah, Seacan's over here, so let's put Seacan over here. And you have become Catholic, good. Uh, combine the troops. But there's still more troops coming here. Yes, there's 5,000 troops coming here. Uh, supply limit here is over 20,000, so we'll just put these troops there as well. Ooh, and Sirkan gets more martial. Nice, that makes his an even faster sieger. Uh, you, a daughter of mine has become Catholic, good. Could we assault here? Yes, we could. And we'll just assault as much as we can. Everything is clear. You want to marry a random courtier of mine? What happened to your previous wife? Died under suspicious circumstances. Okay, you can get this rando. I don't really care. And uh, we'll assault here. We'll assault some more and keep going on our studies. Just keep assaulting. Right. One more assault here. Good. Maybe we'll just stand. Ooh! Separate wards built in Jerusalem, so we shall build uh, the pharmacology lab now. Alright, can we catch them? Thibault, Jillian, Dan. No, it just needs to be Thibault, Eves, and Dan. And when are you gonna be out of there? What if we go here? You'll be there on 3rd of February, you will be there. Already, but we have enough troops to deal with this. Just getting this battle to happen is good because then we don't have to wait for all of eternity. Uh, who do you want me to fire? My cousin? No, no, I'm sorry. Would you explain the matter to me again? I have to keep going. Always have to keep going. Right, let's go smash that little army that's trying to unsiege the things we're already sieged. Oh, and we're at 100% here, so upper peace, enforce demands, yes. Now, let's give away this little thingies. Every one of these away. Right, we can usurp the Berbalik of Basra, so let's uh, do it. And we will give uh, these counties to some randos, as we usually do. Like Bernard here, for instance, you have uh, Basra. And uh, Eustish, you shall have Kufa. And Etienne. You can get uh, Ain Saint. And the Duchy will give to you. Duchy of Basra. Right. Put the troops down. Okay. Form the Empire of the Uchman. Completely controls the region of Near East. Near East is here. Right. So. I know for a fact that we have the Knights of Sardinia over here. I think they are the Knights Hospitaller. So we shall expel them. Drive them all out. Yeah, usurp a couple of baronies. Right, that was them, right? Yes, we'll just make new people for this. And Beth Gibellin. Okay. Uh, completely. I don't complete. Okay, so I'm gonna go through every single holding I hold here just to make sure that there aren't any uh, people that aren't part of our realm here. So I'll probably I'll I'll cut that out because this is gonna take a while. I think. 
Okay, I found some masks of Murwab in here. This guy holds two places, so we'll declare war for these holdings. Raise these troops over here. Raise... Uh, there's gonna be some people close by. Well, there's got my troops over there. We'll send these guys here. We'll send... Uh, that's not very many troops. Right, and hope that these are the only ones. Found them quite fast because I started from the bottom here. Hey, Baghdad has been converted to Christianity or Catholicism. Right, child, calm down. I'll brew something with Valerian in it. And I have to keep going. Always have to keep going. Right, assault. Offer peace. Enforce demands. Okay, and I think form the Empire of the Utramir. Yes, there it is. So, let us click at the button. The Muslim Caliphates are destroyed. The end of the Muslim Caliphates. Since the rise of the Prophet in Arabia, the Muslim faith has been a strong independent actor throughout the lands. Emperor Roj put an end to that and the Muslim faith has been shattered by the latest advances of the Catholics. In a grand announcement in front of his castle in Jerusalem, Emperor Roj declared all the infidel faiths dead and that all the previous believers would be given a choice to convert to the true faith or fear the Catholic faith as it would cross them as it did the Muslims. Nowhere is safe from the Crusaders of the Utramir. The Holy Land is saved. Gain thousand prestige, become known as the founder of Bloodline, giving the following effects. Damage against religious enemies plus 20%, monthly prestige 0.3, personal combat skill plus 10, Christian opinion plus 5, convert currently to your religion faster. The Holy Land is saved. And achievement unlocked, a day as a vault. Oh yeah, but I'm serious. Like the, it said that the. Okay, but actually, also I need to see the. Interesting that this part is Byzantine Empire. Huh. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, because it's de jure Georgia, right? That's why. Yeah, it said that the. Caliphates are destroyed? Caliph... Oh, I... Crap, how can I find them? Who held them? Like, were you holding one... Mm, there was someone who was your vassal that uh, most definitely was holding a... Uh, the Caliphate, but... Maybe he's actually maybe they're actually gone huh let's look at our bloodlines then okay so we have from our blood we have damage against religious enemies plus 30 percent and of course that marshal then uh, works as a multiplier there so we have 64.5 percent against religious enemies and I wonder, if we convert counties to our religion faster twice, how fast do we actually convert them nowadays? Uh, hey, we need a ambition. We take the ambition to groom an heir. Sure, okay. We hold... Uh, introduce heir to the realm. Sure, let's do it. They will be here soon, yes. Okay, let's look at the laws. We are agnatic primogenitor. We should really be. Would really like to be absolute cognatic, I think. All of these. Oh, this is Ag Jerusalem is agnatic cognatic. Now, why can't we change Jerusalem? Are you telling me we haven't reigned in Jerusalem for 10 years yet? No, only 7 years. Huh. And realm laws we could change. So, status of women to notable is something we'd really like to do. So, let's up tolerance, turn status of women to notable. Notable. Right, and... Can... What do we do with... Uh, okay, this allows absolute cognatic. Right. But hey, that was what I was going for. The Empire of the Outremer. And it is done now. Now, I'm still gonna play for about 10 minutes here. Just to make this episode as same length as all the episodes, so that when people, when I put this episode up, people won't immediately know that ah, this is the one where we actually do it. Hey, we did it! And uh, 
I feel good. I, I like doing this kind of a... Kind of a... Well, it, it was actually pretty hard. All, in, all things considered. Yeah, up to me, because... Uh, like the, but then again, after the beginning... After getting France, it was quite simple, to be perfectly honest. And having the amount of money you get from... Uh, during the crusade just made it pretty easy to even defend the double jihad we had happen there at one point. And we're actually be only been jihaded once. Haven't we? Ha have we? Yeah, because the last jihad they declared was for here. So we have only been jihaded once. Huh. They should have jihaded us a bit more, I feel. Uh, but, uh, it was fun. Hey, we get the Duchess here. Let's see if we can find a genius for a boy. Yeah, they are all too young. The best strong girl. This 13 year old strong girl that might be... Oh, a 14 year old as well. We'll see which one has most stewardship. Mm. Yeah, this one looks best. We'll take her. Like, I wonder what we could go from here. We have the Ultramare Empire... Wait, what? Being incorporated de jure into the Empire of the Ultramare. I fulfilled the ambition of the Grumman Air. Uh, no, I'm not going to mark fire. Uh, who is this? My steward. Do I have a better steward available? I have. Sure, let's fire this steward. Uh, why do you dislike me so, brother? Angry. Pretend and claim in the Kingdom of Aquitaine. Title claim and ambitious. Right, let's give you some money. I should probably... yeah, okay. Uh, I was thinking like, is there any other achievements I could go for from here, but... Probably not really something that would be... Like, there would be any point, because we're like... We're the most powerful... Uh, nation on this planet, I believe. Yeah. We have double the amount of troops that the Holy Roman Empire have. And uh, the Popesy has quite a lot of troops. Why? Who are you warring? Oh, Syrian Doge Pisa. Yeah, and the Seljuks aren't really that scary anymore with only their 35,000 troops. The Salamids are the same at 35,000 troops. Not really scary at all. I mean, I think there's like a thing that you can attack. China? I have no idea how to do that. Like, uh, I don't see any option here to do it any way. You probably need to have land bordering here so you can do it, but it'll probably be like... Once you go from here, it's, it's just a world conquest. I've done world conquest a couple of times. I mean, I haven't ever done that on video, because it gets really boring. Like. It's, from, like, if we go for a world conquest from this, it would just mean we'll just see where are wars we can do, and then we just go and do those wars. Or the easy part where, like, for instance, Poland here, if we want to get Poland, we go for Poland, we check for claimants. Yeah, there's at least one claimant who'd come to our lands. Uh, and he, uh, she has a strong claim on the Kingdom of Hungary. I mean, we couldn't, because she's female, we couldn't right now give her the lands. But as soon as we turn to Absolute Cognatic, it would be really easy. So I don't think we're gonna go for from that. Unless, unless there's someone who wants to see me go through a world conquest from this, just let me know in the comments. If you want to see that? I'll do that. Like I don't care. I mean, I I have all the saves I've ever kept. Like I'm not. I don't remove saves. So uh, this this save is gonna be on my computer until the end of time. So I can continue this whenever. Like even if you see this video like three years after I've done this, you can just give me a comment that hey, I'd like to see you finish world conquest from that, and I'll do it. But I think that the next thing we're gonna do, because I'm gonna keep playing Crusader Kings 2, because I love Crusader Kings 2. It's an awesome game. Now the next uh, thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with the uh, Animal Kingdoms from uh, the uh, Holy Fury pack. Like, uh, do a random world with Animal Kingdoms, and uh, I have a very particular goal in mind, which I will, well, I'll talk about at the beginning of that particular series, I don't, I don't want to talk about it quite yet over here. 
But that's what we're gonna see next. We're gonna see some animals on a random world. And I have to say that I played one game with the random world, and it's awesome. Like it, it makes this game feel completely new. Because if you put the, like the de jure counties, de jure stuff to be completely different, it just makes the world game feel like so fresh. Why can I not ask you to? Why can I not demand your religious conversion? I will execute you then. This will upset the lords and the Seljuks sometime. I don't care. Mm, new granddaughter, ugly one there though. Hey, there. Who are these? There's a suddenly a new emirate here. Uh, can we? The Caliph can call for a jihad. Can we somehow find the Caliphs, like, for, for real? I, I I thought that it would have been the Caliph. I thought we'd find it through here, but uh, oh, not to get two C's. Caliph, but no. Yeah, I don't know how to find those to make sure that were they destroyed or not. Do we have actually any new? Like things we could do since we are the Ultramere now. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, that's just retinue. Oh, without ten thousand, almost ten thousand retinue, we could do quite a lot of bulls of Rish Haba. Followers of the Jain faith have always followed the central tenet of showing respect to all living creatures and to refrain from violence. But even the most peaceful of men must occasionally go to war. As such, a new order has been found, named the Bulls of Rish Haba. They were loyal to all Jain rulers against those who would do them harm. A most devout man named Singana has pledged himself to undertake the leadership of the order to preserve their way of life. Ha! Huh, as if such rubble would save them. Interesting. So, a uh, Jain holy order. You want to marry my kinswoman, and you are my kinswoman. You know what? Fine! I don't care about that anymore. Like, not at all. Uh, you shall have a martial education there. Mm, new kinswoman born. That's always nice. Hmm. Do we have like lots of claims? Are there any claims that are by? Oh, pressing the wrong place. Nope. What's happening here? This is working weirdly. Hey, Kingdom of Scotland. Who's holding Scotland? Queen Feleda, Shallow of Scotland. We claim Scotland for some people in our land. It would be nice. Is there like one? Is there a way to find people in, of your family that are that have claims? Like this, our claimants. This means people who are within our realm, right? Prince Rimgale of Lithuania, for instance, who has a claim on the kingdom of Lithuania. If we look here and find her, what was her name? Rimgale. Yeah. Hey. Hey, he's actually a landed person. So. We could uh, get Kingdom of Lithuania under us quite easily, but uh, yeah, I think this uh, this is done. This series is done here. We got the Deathworld achievement. We got the Defender of the Holy Sepulchre achievement. We got a couple of other achievements there while we were doing that that I wasn't really expecting. We got a couple of bloodlines. We uh, we're we're gonna want saints in our family. We got the blood of the King Raymond, and we got this new bloodline from this. Which, uh, this really makes life easy. <laughs> like, plus 30 against religious enemies. Like, I think that's the... What is it called? Is it something like Holy Warrior? No. There's that, uh, one... That one martial trait. This one. Holy Warrior. I think it's called Holy Warrior. Why didn't I find it? Oh, because I had one of the things. Yeah. This gives plus 30 damage against religious enemies. It would be 
really fun to get a Holy Warrior trait with our bloodline. Like, it would be really fun. What bloodlines, by the way, do my children have? Like, did they get, did they get anything from their mother who was a queen of something? No, she's got no bloodlines. And bloodline hunting would also be one thing we could do if we want to continue this. Just check all the bloodlines that have living descendants and just go for them. Say Demetrius the God Bearing. Hmm. I wonder where we could find your living member of your family. Is it this one? No, she doesn't have it. You know, it's your... Oh! It's this one. Call me that some Makrembolites we could get. But yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just wasting time here now. Uh, I'm Uncle Kappa. This has been Crater Kings 2 Crusading for a Kingdom. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you in the next series.